all you flight simmers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in the Grapes of Wrath Route 66 adventure by Perfect Flight. And so today's leg is leg number four. We're going from KCSM to 2F1. That's Clinton Sherman, where we uh, landed at the end of leg three, and we're heading to Shamrock Municipal, uh, which is 2F1. The distance is about 50 nautical miles, so it should be a shorter trip today. And uh, so uh, once I get over into the cab uh, or the cockpit and ready to go, I will uh, catch back up with you. Okay, I am in the cockpit. I've got everything set, ready to go. We're going to be flying at a altitude of 3,000 feet today uh, and we should be what do we got here uh, turn that off uh, so we're gonna be taking off and turning to our right oh you know what I forgot to do something here we need to change from live weather there we go I I prefer to have the clear sky so that we can see the landscape and stuff like that. So I did forget that. So let's, uh, we can close this off and I think we are ready to take off. So let me uh, bring down the nav log and she'll probably start talking fairly quickly. She usually does. So let's get started. Oh, I will add that uh, again, as I have in the other legs, once we get started, I'm not going to say anything throughout until we get close to landing. I need to move this so that I can turn that on, turn our navigation on, and we should be set to go. others in this region was hard hit by this ecological disaster in the 1930s. Today the modern agricultural practices and land management we observe from the skies are in part the result of lessons learned during that difficult time. Finally, we cannot fail to notice the North Fork of the Red River, which flows east of the city. This river is an important source of water for the region and has influenced the agricultural development of the surrounding area.
located in Beckham County. It is not an incorporated city, but rather a very small rural community. From the air, what we see is primarily an open rural landscape, characteristic of western Oklahoma. The landscape is dominated by vast farmlands and pastures. The land here is mainly used for extensive farming and livestock raising. Texola is located in the far west of Beckham County, on the Texas border. The very name of the city, a combination of Texas and Oklahoma, reflects its unique location. From our plane, we see an extremely small city. Founded in 1901, Texola has seen a significant decline in population over the years, and today it is considered almost a ghost town. One notable landmark is the famous sign at the Oklahoma-Texas border, which is located just west of the city. From here, we can clearly see the dividing line between the two states. Continue straight ahead and prepare to land at Shamrock Municipal. Okay, from here, I will uh, probably jabber a little bit here. We've got about uh, nine nautical miles to go, and we have to deviate off. Uh, we're going to swing in and come in. I believe it would be from the south and landing to the north. Uh, while we have a few minutes here, while we're uh, getting a little bit closer, I have gotten into the uh, MSFS 2024 and been kind of disappointed at this point. I was going to do some stuff on it, but I'm going to wait because it is pretty buggy and at least wise I've been able to get in, but nothing seems to be working exactly the way it's supposed to. So that's just a little commentary. I'll have more on that as we can able to uh, get in there and do some flying. All right. Well, at this point, I need to start taking over. We'll turn that off and turn that off. And... We need to start uh, swinging out this away. The flight uh, 
plan takes us right to the center of Shamrock Municipal. So this is why we've got to swing off and come over onto this side of uh, Route or I-40, uh, Route 66, and so we should be closing in here. So we're going to swing out this away. We're going to head kind of towards those that green patch up there and where it looks a little uh, like a little rolly hills in there. And then at that point, we're going to start swinging to the north. Okay. Uh, we should be pretty good about right here. So let's start swinging around. And we should start slowing down as well. And we're going to set a flap. And hopefully we get lined up the way we're supposed to here. We should be starting to see our airport. if I oh you know what I didn't miscalculate this did I oh I did all right yeah I think that's our airport right over there let's swing back around I should have gone a little bit farther but we're gonna be fine And let's go ahead and get our second set of flaps out. All right, the airport is off to our right. So we should be able to start swinging around and we will see it as we swing around here. And there it is. All right. Get lined up a little bit better here. All right, there we go. Yeah, it wasn't the best landing, but we're on the ground. A little high on the nose, but we got it to work out. All right, so let's kind of roll in right here. Get off of the active runway. And we're just going to cruise right in here and come to a stop. Yeah, this works right here. All right, let me get this thing shut down so we can finish our leg. We'll do the cutoff. We can bring that down. Uh, let's start uh, turning this stuff off. Turn off, off. Uh, I think flip those. Uh, turn that off and there we go leg completed that was uh, leg number four and let me scroll back up to the top of my notes Clinton Sherman to Shamrock Muni and I also believe we are now out of Oklahoma and into Texas all right let's hit the next and see what our log shows there we go 19 minutes uh, about 19 and a half minutes. 
which I knew was going to be a shorter uh, trip today. All right. Well, I think that about wraps things up. Well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. I'm trying to grow the channel. Uh, look for some more. I'll continue next week with uh, leg five. And we will uh, hopefully at some point here in the next couple of three weeks, I'll be able to do some uh, Microsoft 2024 videos. But we'll see on that. All right, all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.